Dear colleagues, new episode of Dental Tips is online and this time we will speak about interesting case, the challenging case, the challenging with the so-called V-shape proximal area during direct restoration and as the result or as the problem of matrix adaptation. So first of all, what is V-shape? This is what I would like to uh, remind for some people because maybe you don't know what is V-shape, but that's the thing that you can see on this uh, upper premolar in a mesial area especially when you have this kind of V not it's not defect but it's a morphological aspect of the root almost exposed and uh, imagine when you will place matrix there when you place the wedge in most of the cases you still have a gap between the uh, matrix and between the tooth and when you place your restorative material you may get overhang and some problems with the patient gingiva or even periodontium so in these kind of cases, I prefer to use soft matrices like a transparent uh, matrices because they are much more flexible comparing to metal ones and they are not that sensitive for so-called plastic deformation. So let's take a look. The first thing, I place the matrix and then I use Teflon. So actually Teflon is the one that helps you to push the matrix into the concave area. We push it with a thin instrument, you can use probe, you can use explorer or this kind of thin instrument that we can use for uh, fissura modeling. We push it and then I checked with a the mirror, then uh, there was still gap between matrix and the, and the, um, the tooth and I add more Teflon. And here you can see the process of the Teflon packing. I pack it, I force it more into the uh, mesial aspect and now you can see the profile. Actually, this is the most important and most beneficial things about transparent soft matrices. Because imagine, if you will have metal matrix and you place it there, and then you will decide to pack Teflon. So you place one piece of Teflon, then another one, and then in many cases, what may happen, the matrix will go inside the tooth and you will get so-called reverse contact point or reverse profile. So that's the one problem that you may experience with a metal matrices. Another problem that may happen is that the matrix can get deformation and then you will have to use the new one. But with the plastic matrices, once your met plastic matrix gets deformation, you can take any kind of um, rounded instrument and push the matrix from inside out and you will get the profile and this is exactly what you can see here in that video and I'm highlighting the profile of the matrix is still smooth very progressive without uh, overhang and this is what you can use in your uh, practice so I would really suggest you and advise you in your um, instrument set or matrix set to have metal matrices definitely to have uh, different types of uh, rings and for sure to have uh, a plastic thin, uh, very flexible uh, matrices in such a cases when you have to force them to pack them and to uh, stabilize them with a Teflon in, uh, in this kind of uh, V-shape cases. So here you can see initial situation. The second slide is when uh, you can see that this tall uh, aspect is packed and the meso, exactly the gap between matrix and the tooth in a V-shape area. And then afterwards, after uh, packing with a Teflon, everything is sealed, everything is pretty, pretty, pretty nicely adapted to the surface. And this is um, the result of the direct restorations. We made two direct restorations with a nice rounded profiles and they have to be, the canine and the molar tooth will be restored later on. But this is the case that I would like to share with you. And actually I would like to uh, give you this kind of advices and I hope that these advices will be pretty useful. These are exactly matrices that I used in that, that particular case. They are from Care Company. Care half adapt transparent sectional matrices, increased curve because they have also another version with a normal curvature. And uh, here you can see some nice advices of our colleagues from Instagram because when I posted the case on Instagram, I asked our audience about their advices, their experience, what kind of um, instruments, what kind of um, matrices or tips and tricks they use in such uh, V-shape situations. And uh, it's very helpful. And I would like also to ask you, my friends, uh, in comments, please, 
share your uh, tips and tricks uh, for these kind of uh, clinical situations and that will be very useful for us and for uh, all the colleagues that will see that video uh, to learn and to get uh, better uh, results in uh, direct uh, restoration uh, cases and definitely don't forget to put like to this video to sign up to our uh, youtube channel and to share the video with your colleagues this way we will all benefit and uh, become better in our dental profession stay strong and may the dental force be with you